Hi, this is Ben and in this video I'm going to show you 14 brilliant productivity apps that I use on my Galaxy Z Fold 6. First on the list is Samsung Native Calendar. This application outshines any calendar application on the Android market in terms of user interface and user experience. It has a basic natural language processing feature, understands your language, doesn't lack any feature for creating an event, and also you can see that the interface is very fluid. It supports all the major calendar applications you can integrate with, and it's very well integrated on both folded and unfolded on Galaxy Z Fold. As an alternative, you can use Business Calendar 2. It doesn't have all the fluffs of animations and beautiful transitions. Instead, it focuses on the functionality of the application itself. So I would say the target audience of this application, as the name suggests, are the business users. The default template of this application is highly customizable. You can change every color everywhere in the application and also in the events. And it comes with a set of widgets which are much more usable and much more informative than Samsung Native Calendar. I personally fancy simplicity over complexity. That's why I use Google Keep for personal usage only. I've been using Google Keep for a long time, but on this device, I give it more utilization for personal notes. I love the fact that it's accessible across all my devices, even at work on my machine, that I do not want to install any new application, so I can just integrate with my browser. I also love the fact that data entry and retrieval is so quick in this application. Quick capture works flawlessly, your data is organized in labels, your data capture is not limited to only text, you can enter images, drawings, or audio, and then the search functionality works flawlessly, so I would say it's the perfect choice for those who are looking into simplicity and reliability of a note-taking application. Now, if you don't mind complexity, you can look into Obsidian. Obsidian can be customized from toe to head. This is among the only applications that opened a gate for third-party plugins to come in and modify literally everything on this application. Data management in Obsidian is done via folders and nested tags. Everything is stored as an MD file and you have full control over your data. To organize my life, project management and task management, I use Todoist. I have a thorough video introducing this application and all its features. It is powerful, really powerful. It is a business grade application, which doesn't limit personal users to use it as well. Therefore, a lot of its critical features are free to use. Features like calendar integration, natural language processing and full task management. If Todoist didn't work for you, try Microsoft Todo. It is also cross-platform with a minimalistic interface, which shares the DNA with the application called Wonderlist. Microsoft acquired Wonderlist a long time ago, and the team developed this Microsoft Todo application. It comes close to Todoist, although it doesn't have all the functionality of Todoist. It is completely free, and yet it is powerful. It gives you tasks, subtasks, file attachments, and multiple reminders. The user interface is very clean, it doesn't have learning curves or any complexity. Simple to learn, easy to use, and it does the job. If you are like me, you want to be on top of your financial life, try Tasho. This application has been on the iOS and Android store for a long, long time. There is an app version also as well. The application is constantly being maintained, it's not crazy expensive, and it has all the features that you need to track your budget and expenses. I used to be on YNAB and it was too much work for me. I wanted more simplicity, I wanted a quick way to enter my transaction or track it via my bank account. And I just like wanted a expense track here that does the budgeting for me as well. Hushal does it all and it's much much cheaper than YNAB. Spendy is another alternative to Tushal. It has both iOS and Android applications. But the web interface is not as powerful as Tushal. It has the full bank connection and integration features, just like Tosho. It's a slightly cheaper also, very flexible to enter, modify, and categorize transactions. The budgeting system as well is very flexible. You can set a whole budget and also categorize them based on what you have in your transactions. I've been a user of both, and I would say both are competing very closely against each other. Day one has been among applications that I've been paying for it for years now. I have over 13 years of memories and journal on this application. It is fantastic for journaling. It is capable, it has all the features that I want. I can add music, I can add sound, I can add my own voice, images, videos, 
location, weather, mood, and it is so feature rich and reliable that you can even use it as a note taking application. The interface is quite robust and beautiful. It was among the applications that was initially produced for Apple ecosystem only, and it was on iCloud. Then the team decided to expand and produce web and Android application. Very close to day one would be Journey. This application is also cross-platform, accessible across all your devices. The price is very close also to the day one. I switched to Journey from day one a while ago and used it for some time and then immediately switched back to day one purely because the interface on the Apple ecosystem was slightly better in day one. But since then, Journey improved a lot. And I would say this is now a matter of preference which one you go for. They both have trials, try them and make a decision. You definitely need a password manager. I personally use one password and I'm using it after trying many, many applications. I use LastPass at work. I use Bitwarden, Dashlane and Keeper for personal use. And finally migrated to 1Password and decided this is the one. 1Password security is next level. They've never had any history of breach in their system. They have an additional key on top of their security system to introduce new device. It makes a free layer security. It has a great UI which is accessible across all your devices and all browsers. If you are looking for a free alternative, then use Bitwarden. It is completely free, still accessible across all your devices and browsers of course. It is quite secure, the interface is not as good as 1Password, and some of the convenient features 1Password has to offer you can't find in Bitwarden. Features like autofill, even two-factor authentication on mobile devices, security watchtower for dark web even, centralized lock and unlock on desktop and laptop, which makes accessing it through browser extensions quite convenient, but it is still usable. And of course, when considering it's free, then it makes it completely worth it. Freelancers, consultants, and those who care about tracking your time, this application is for you. It's called Toggle. It's completely free, accessible across all your devices, even watch applications. It is a professional grade business class application which you can track your time and project. Basic features are completely free and it's completely usable on free tier. And I'm using it for literally everything that I am doing. Not only business related, but also personal things like reading, listening to audiobook, and everything that I'm spending some productive time on. And finally, as an alternative to Togo, you can try Simple Time Tracker. It doesn't have all the bells and whistles of Togo. It's quite simple to use, easy to understand and learn, no learning curves, and it's just a basic time management and time tracker application. It's completely free, and much like Toggle, you can create projects, tasks, or anything that you can track your time on, and then start your timer. 